And I am pleased to bring David Appleberry up on stage now. He's a business developer in marine technology at Blue Science Park. And for our newcomers, like myself, Carl's Krona is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and there's a whole legacy around shipbuilding and maritime work. And this is, I think, a perfect backdrop to understanding a little bit more about this particular block theme. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. with my first question for you, David, what role does the ocean play for Carl's Krona as well as the region of Blekina? Well, the, the, the ocean has, or the sea has historically always played a very vital role for, for Karlskrona uh, and Blekinge. Um, uh, it's a city uh, evolving around a purpose-built naval base, basically, with the, with the specific aim to keep Sweden safe and our seas open. Um, so we have a heritage of drawing innovation from the sea for the past 340 years. Uh, it's, our, in, it's in our DNA, basically. But also, uh, in more recent years, companies like uh, NKT and uh, Roxtech really vanguarding the, the uh, energy transition in Europe and globally as well. So I think that's going to be a big part of our, our legacy moving forward as well. And if I can just do a quick follow-up question. For people here and online with us, what does NKT do and what does Roxtech do as a company? Uh, NKT do power cables, subsea power cables, and um, uh, Roxtech do sealing solutions for, for basically offshore, but many industries, but, but offshore industry as well. And I understand they are both leaders in their industry as well. Absolutely. And based here in the area. Absolutely. So then, Give us your vision on the future of Karlskrona as connected to the ocean. Do you have a sense of yeah. the broader future here? Yeah, um, I, I think that, that, well, there's not a prime minister, uh, CEO, power broker, politician uh, who doesn't wake up every morning, or at least should be waking up every morning thinking about three things. And, and one of them is the energy transition taking place in Europe right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one is naturally the security situation. Uh, that we have in Europe. And the third one is uh, how to achieve goals associated to sustainability. And these are all uh, core competences when it comes to Karlskrona and Blekinge. So we actually have a unique situation now where we have European and global trends actually focusing on our core competences here in Karlskrona, which is fascinating. So I foresee a, a, a very bright future for the next 10 to 15 years when it comes to everything associated to the, to the ocean and the seas. So it's exciting times. Yeah. And I understand there's several focus areas for marine and ocean work with Blue Science Park. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate mm -hmm. on these areas? Well, as I mentioned before, these, these trends that we see, they're also our, our key areas to, to work with naturally, uh, aligning with, 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 with the global mission. For all of us, uh, we have the energy transition, uh, the shift from fossilized fuels to renewable en energy sources. And we have companies like Roxtech and NKT really driving this change, championing it, in the sense that uh, we are connecting countries we are connecting power grids to one another, really driving the change of electrification because that's happening. That's a, that's a, that's an established mm -hmm. fact now. Um, but also looking at other sectors like offshore wind farms. You know, there's talk of uh, an offshore wind farm 50 kilometers outside of uh, Utklippan, uh, and that would um, make Blekinge an exporter of energy, uh, a place for cheap renewable energy. And I, for one, would be extremely curious to see what type of industries, entrepreneurs and companies that would attract to, to our region. Uh, then we have the security situation in uh, Europe, tragic tragically. Uh, what does that mean? Well, uh, the Swedish government has decided that 2% of our GDP is supposed to be invested in the Swedish armed forces. Uh, naturally, that's going to have an effect on Karlskrona and the defense pillar, the industry here with Saab Kockums and the authorities such as the Swedish Coast Guard, the Navy, the Swedish Defense Material Administration. So I see them moving into a longer period of growth now for 10 to 15 years and actually quite a rapid growth initially, I would say, as well. So that's, that's quite interesting. And then we have the sustainable seas and sustainable oceans aspects as well, uh, where we have companies like Stenaline who will introduce uh, uh, their work soon. But also, I think that's a shared responsibility between all of us that we need to really uh, you know, accept the, the mission to take care of our oceans uh, and make it our legacy to, to the, the people coming after us, the children and their children, and really 
become a region on a mission to, to save our seas. So I think that's three things you should take away uh, from this short uh, talk is that it's the energy transition, we're good at it, you know? Uh, the defense side, we're good at it. And the sustainable oceans, let's all, let's all make an effort and become the best in the world at it as well. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you. And that gives us a sense.